Hello creatives, welcome to today's tutorial. Hello, welcome back online guys and welcome to today's tutorial on in automobile wall mockup logo design. So we can't waste too much of our time. So let's get into what we want to do today. So let's click on import. Let's import our tool that we'll be making use of. Here we have it. Oh. So we have this. So let's centralize this. And let's import another one again. Here we have this range too. And let's crop this. A little. Yeah, perfect. So let's bring this guy down here. So we have this here and let's go to our stroke our stroke which is white perfect then let's click on this and rather let's import our color palette let's import our color palette here okay here we have it in pixel up perfect Let's click on this, go to color, enable, click here, click, and we have this blue color, ok this, click on this, and we have this, and this, good. So the next thing we come here, and make both together, after merging, we go to erase color and click on enable click on tolerance and increases a little bit then let's go to our background color to see if that has already been removed and so let's use black yes it's transparent already it's transparent let's change the color again to see yeah fully transparent so let's go back Now we have this right here, so let's move boot and bring it here. And let's go to our test edit. Let's simply crash automobile. Or let's say Chris autos. Anyone which is perfect, go for. Let's bring this down here. Let's go to our font. Make use of main font right here. Click on main font. Okay, it and come to our color. We're making use of different colors here. So great. So let's centralize this. Perfect. Let's go to our test again. We have auto sales. Um, repair shop okay I will reduce this bring this down right here and we go to our font again come here go back here and we find this font here we have this mountain right here regular it's perfect. We reduce the size and get down here. We change the color to let's say red. We have this right here. Alright. So let's do some need to retouch our shapes right here. From the dust I was born to the dirt I shall return. When my eyes are closed, let's do this. Do this. We have this little guy. Perfect. We have this right here. It might not be really necessary. So let's just have it here. So we have that. So let's hide this. Click 
color palette rather and let's come here click on transparent and save image save as png and save as ultra and click on save to glare so with that it's done saving let's click on back and let's on our data connection next step for us to do is to go to chrome and we enter chrome click this and we enter photo key com enter let's click again photoplay.com so the next thing we do is to open from computer that yes yeah here it's display the next thing to do is to click on downloads and locate where our downloaded PSD is. We are going to our download. No, it's download. We have the glass window mock up here, and we click on the main file. This is this right here. We click on it. So let's wait for this to load in seconds. I guess right. Okay, let's wait for this. Let's wait for this. Let's wait for this. Yeah, great. So we here we have the PSD file. So the next thing to do is to click on our layers, which is right here. Click on the layers, and the next thing we have to do is to double tap on this more like an icon. This double square right here. Let's double tap on it perfectly. Is that perfect? Let's fit for this. Yeah, great. Good, good, perfect. So we have to click on this eye to hide the text that is behind it. So we click on this layer again. And the next thing for us to do is to click on our file to import our own design onto this transparent workplace. So we have to tap on open and place. Click on downloads again. And we have this the last design we did on Pixel Lab right here. Perfect. So let's wait for this to load and display on the workspace. Yeah. If we are following and if we are getting this don't forget to click the subscribe button just tap on it right there for more premium tutorials just tap the button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we get notified when another video has been uploaded on adaptiveverse tv so let's continue again let's increase this by holding this top here Wow, so let's reduce this a lot a little bit here. Yeah. Perfect. Oh wow. Let's bring it back again. Yeah, good. So let's try and use our hand to move this to centralize this. Yeah, we have it centralized with that dotted line already. So what do we have to do again? Click on the file again and click on save smart objects save smart object so let's wait for this to load at the top there it will show smart objects updated once it's done saving a smart object so let's wait for this let's wait for this let's wait for this let's wait for this yes we have it smart objects updated so what is left for us to do now is to click back on the 3d glass that has a tab button on it to get our mock-up so let's double tap on this and let's wait for that magic to happen let's wait let's wait let's wait let's wait let's wait yes and we have our logo right here and we have our logo right here which is Chris Autos auto sales and repair shop so how do we save this the next thing to do is just to go to our file Click on export as and click on PNG. Save your design. Click on export as 
click on png and we have the quality here and it should be at 100 you guess that right it should be at 100 wow yeah it should be at 100 also if this thing is not responding so just the next thing is to click on save this save right here and it will automatically download into your file so thanks again and don't forget to like this video subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you find this video more helpful you can share to your friend share to your timeline thank you very much this is the only way you can help adetive tv to grow